understand that Jack is a little bit older. A little bit older guy, but he's awful sweet. Aren't you sweet? Look at you. Look at you. You're a sweet boy. Yeah. Hi, baby. I can see the pug tail, but I wonder what he's mixed with. What are you mixed with, buddy? What's your history, huh? What do we know? What do we know about you? Not much. Not much, huh? Why don't you go stand by Karen so I can get a little better shot of you. Go on over by Karen. Come here, Chuck. There's a good boy. Come here. Can you look up? There's a good boy. That's Hello. it. Hey, sweetie. There's a good dog. How about if we try some commands with him? I don't, we don't, we maybe don't think he's had much training, but Come maybe here, we'll give it a try. Come on, Jack. Go over there. Here. Jack, sit. Good boy. Sit. Can you sit? Sit. Sit. No, not sit. <laughs> he didn't understand. He didn't quite. Well, the good news is he's like I. He says I. I just want to. Yeah, he thought that meant jump. <laughs> so he needs a little work on his commands, but he's very sweet, and he doesn't really have a lot of restrictions, from what I understand. They think he'd pretty much be okay with kids and. Yeah, and he's a very laid-back dog. He's not very energetic. He's not going to be very hyper. Uh-huh. And I guess he likes other dogs okay, from what I read. So, this guy uh, seems like he might be good for, um, you know, perhaps an apartment or a condo uh, situation because of his modest size. And his energy is sort of medium or even a little bit, you know, lower than medium. He's, he's kind of a calm, quiet guy. And here he comes again. <laughs> I know, you know, I like you too. <laughs> Like he's pretty easy to manage on leash too. Okay. Well, he's a sweet boy, and I think he'd do well in a calm household because he's a calm boy. <laughs> 